Alrighty, this is my first test flight after fixing the broken standoffs and the slightly out of true motor. Hopefully, I will actually be able to do some tuning now. Alright, uh, this is default PIDs on Betaflight 261. Uh, basically, no change to the PID tuning settings, just uh, updated the rates to reflect my usual rates, and away I went. Let's have a look at how we uh, got on. And the first thing I'm going to do, as always, but especially this time because I know I addressed a mechanical vibration issue, is look at the gyros. Ready for the moment of truth, folks? Here goes. Oh my goodness, the yaw gyro is terrible. Let's take a look at the other axes and see what else we can see. So here's the roll gyro. Let's just zoom out and look for places where there might be a problem. Oh, well, here you go. This is clearly a place where there might be a problem. Let's take a look at what this looks like in the air. So it looks like that may be prop wash going on. It was, boy, it was pretty subtle over here, huh? Kind of like a, a rapid twitch. Look what the motors do. Boom. Ah, that's... That is something. That is a really extreme twitch in the motors. How about that? What happened there? Hard to imagine that's anything to do with the flight characteristics. Sure doesn't seem like it. Let's keep looking. There was another one not too far up. Yeah, right there. Yeah. And here, is this prop wash? It sure doesn't look like P-term oscillation. I don't see any signs of oscillation, because oscillation would involve a sort of a back and forth. This is just some crazy twitching. Oh, there's... I see some repetitiveness here and here. It's maybe some oscillation. I don't know. Keep looking. This looks decent. I'm seeing activity on the P-term, but not crazy oscillation. And I'm seeing the D-term sort of following along, leading, actually, doing its thing. Here's another high throttle section. There it is. There's another twitch again. Very strange. Nothing here. No twitching or anything here. I know there was another one as well. Uh... Low throttle. There's some... Um, yeah, there it is again. It's really strange. This doesn't feel like like P-term or D-term oscillation. It's some kind of a crazy, like, just a twitch. And the motors go bonkers. Yeah. There it is again. There's that twitch again. Boy, it's got me worried. There it is again. It's hard. This doesn't look like a tuning-related thing. But it just looks like every so often the gyro is flipping out. I wonder if... Uh, so I'm running at 4 kilohertz. And I wonder if taking it to maybe 2 kilohertz or 2.6 kilohertz. I think I'm going to take it back to 2 kilohertz and not change anything else and see if this issue goes away. Because this doesn't feel to me like... Th this is not happening at a time when I would normally expect to see like P-term oscillation or anything. It's just kind of happening semi-randomly. And it doesn't look like anything I've seen before. It just looks like this, occasionally there's this crazy twitch in the motors. And I, I, I know it's not, yeah, here is this, is this sharp twitch. I know it's not desync or anything like that because I haven't changed anything about the ESCs or the motors. So I think I'm going to go down to 2 kilohertz and see if the problem goes away. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's uh, let's go take it out, put it up in the air again, and see what happens. All right, well, that didn't do it, so let's keep digging. Is there anything in RC command? Does RC command twitch? And no, we can see that the sticks are not moving. RC command is not twitching. Okay, P-term takes a dive. Gyro goes the other direction. Well, wait a minute. If they're opposing the gyro, they must be responding to the gyro. 
because if they were not responding to the gyro, the gyro would go the same direction. Well, folks, I flashed back to 241, which was a known good config. I restored my config, and here was the result. <laughs> So I hate to say it, but this sounds like, it feels like a bad gyro to me. I may have uh, replaced my flight control board. So, um, uh, well, this is a question of trial and error now. The other thing that I know happened is that I changed the bell on one of my motors. So it's possible that um, we've got, I mean, it's in theory, that's another thing that's changed. And so it's worth considering. But honestly, it doesn't sound like I'm getting, I don't hear the sound of a desync in that footage. And uh, so the, the sort of violent twitching that's occurring is what I've seen before, like on an Ace 32 Rev 6 board that had a bad gyro. So maybe all that time spent with my board flapping on the flapping and vibrating <laughs> caused it a little bit of damage. I, I don't know, but um, I don't think this is an issue that's going to be solved with tuning. So I'm going to call this one for now. Hope it's been helpful. Hopefully it's been interesting. And happy flying, but not me. I'm not happy flying.